2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Tonight, it'll be the Brooklyn Nets going up against the Mavericks in Dallas. For Dallas, they'll be put to the test in this one and will need to put together a complete game as they face a team well above them in the standings. And we'll be seeing Kevin Durant. Some compare his game to the Iceman George Gervin. What you all think of that? I say that's a pretty fair comparison. He has the George Gervin skill, but at a much bigger size. Yeah, I agree with that. That would, you know, that would be a fair comparison. There's a lot of guys. He doesn't get the finger roll, roll. Ernest, as you are alluding to. But he did still like Dirk Nowitzki. KD one leg fadeaway. Remember that? He stole that. Got about 35 points right now, Ernie. Right, you haven't touched a one of them. Hmm. Too high. Can't jump higher than oh, the ball. Pump fake. I like it. I Can't like jump that. higher than the ball. <laughs> Can't jump higher than the ball. I am lighting it up. A stunning view of the moon over our broadcast location tonight in Dallas, Texas. It's that time of the year. Happy holidays, everyone, from 2K Sports as we get set to bring you some midseason NBA action. And on tap tonight, it's the Dallas Mavericks going up against the Brooklyn Nets. Kevin Harlan here, joined by our analyst Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. Plus, reporting from the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. And let's check out a breakdown, looking at some stats for Doncic. The most positive thing about his last 10 games, the work on defense. His mindset has become very aggressive. The steals are up, and he's becoming a big factor on the defensive end. And with pregame routines coming to an end, we're just about ready for our tip-off. First, though, let's get a report from the sideline and say hello to David Aldridge. Well, Kyrie Irving rediscovered his maternal lineage with the White Mountain family of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. He lost his mother at a young age, and by connecting with her roots, he's found a piece of himself. The tribe gave him the name Little Mountain. Kevin? Great story, D.A. Thank you. We're in the middle of the season, Doris. Some teams now just beginning to find their stride, their rhythm. Uh, how do they now maintain it? Yeah, I think at this point of the year, you've established your rotation. Players know when they're going to come in, when they might be subbed out. I think it's about sort of finding, keeping, and maintaining that rhythm and execution that should be very, very well ingrained in your guys' habits. I know you found you go. played this way, but, but when you know your role, when you know the minutes and the rhythm, as we were just talking about, I think for a player that's huge. Am I correct? You are. Know your role and star in your role. Here are the starters for Brooklyn. Irving and Lavert are at the one and two. Wilson Chandler out there with Durant, and it's Jordan in at the five spot. And for Dallas, they've got Cauley Stein. Luka Doncic out there with Jalen Brunson. Then there's Michael Kidd Gilchrist, and it's Brzingis in at the four. It's Lavert on the wing. The shot, no good. Now Dallas takes it the other way. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That is his first foul of the game. Refs calling it close already as he picks up a quick early foul. Now here's Brunson. He's guarded closely. Passes it to Carly Stein. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Last game for the Mavericks, they picked up the W against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. And just about a minute into the first quarter, Anjic passes to Cauley Stein, and Cauley Stein throws it down. You know, there's an unselfishness to Luka Doncic, and a pretty pass right there. And here's Irving. He's coming off a 31-point game against the Timberwolves in Minneapolis. Well, in addition to the scoring, he found ways to initiate contact from the defense and get himself to the line. The defense clearly frustrated trying to get a way to stop him. And I'll bet that's what they talked about before the game, getting the ball inside early. 
Brunson kicks to Kid Gilchrist. Back to Brunson. Lock at six. And Jordan sends it back. Boy, the wingspan of DeAndre Jordan. This guy sends it back with a message. Mavericks have gone just one of four to get this game started. And Doncic, here we go. The wide open look here for Perzingis. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. You know, just what they were looking for right there. That's not a shot he's going to miss. Now, here is Irving. Brunson covering. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brunson. That is his first foul of the game. Chandler scanning the floor. Jordan, the pass to LeBert. Lobs it up for Jordan. Boy, this guy has run this play so many times. DeAndre Jordan understands how to read the defense. Now here's Brunson. D right on him. Donjic outside. The pass to Kid Gilchrist. Over Chandler. And Kid Gilchrist gets it to go in. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in. Down low. Here's KD. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move. And he's got a chance for one more at the line. It's going to go on Willie Cauley-Stein. There are very few players in the world who can do what Kevin Durant does. Under duress of the playoffs or a big moment in the game, Kevin Durant has the skill set and the mentality necessary to finish opponents off. They now lead as the free throw drops for him. And that skill set of Durant's that Doris, you just mentioned, there really is no comparison in the league. I agree, Kevin. I mean, just to have that soft touch with that height he has is rare in itself. Now you think about the mobility and creativity to find a shot for himself or others in any situation. That is what makes him one of the all-time greats. So it looks like the Nets will retain possession here. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Irving kicks to Levert. With the teardrop. Not a single shot has gone down this period. It is the very definition of ice cold. Yep, that one goes. If he sees a lane to the rim, Doncic will capitalize. Nice drive. Here's Irving, still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Pass to Levert. Back to Irving. 14 feet away. That's good on the jump shot. Poor design there defensively. They, they know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. That's not coming with the right mentality. The defender neither closes the space nor challenges the shot. That's frustrating as a coach, boy. Here's Kid Gilchrist following the basket by Kyrie Irving. Inside and stolen by Jordan. A solo fast break. Here's Levert. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. And after missing four straight, he finally gets one to go. Mavericks trail by three. To the paint and stolen by Jordan. Levert against Doncic. A nice shot by Levert. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Now, here's Doncic. A 26-point game for him in the win against Oklahoma City. Here's Brunson. 
Brooklyn with the rebound. Jordan's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. The three from KD. Porzingis with the rebound. And so it's Porzingis. He'll bring it up for the Mavericks. It's a five-point game. Kid Gilchrist, no luck. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. Mavericks have gone 4 of 10 shooting the ball here in the first quarter. Seven-foot shot, and it's Porzingis getting it to go. Porzingis has got his second bucket of the night. Scoring through contact is something Kristaps Porzingis has got to get used to in the NBA. Teams try to get physical with this guy. Brooklyn with the ball. They're coming off that win against Minnesota. Yeah, they really snuffed that one out. Didn't execute all that well. Fortunate to walk away with the W. Yeah, but as a team, you actually love a win like that. You're struggling from the field. You don't have your best stuff. Still, you find a way to gut out a win. Oh, smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? Six on the shot clock, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The numbers for Luka Doncic absolutely staggering. The only rookie ever to average over 20 points, seven boards, and five assists. And such impressive poise and confidence for Luka Doncic, Doris. He's unfazed by the NBA. I think it makes sense, Kevin, when you consider this young man has been playing as a pro and against men since the age of 16. And by 17, he was tearing up the EuroLeague. This guy was ready to make the leap. That free throw good from Doncic. There's so much to like about Luka Doncic, but perhaps the best thing is he can contribute in every aspect of the game. Scoring, rebounding, passing, you name it. Looking at who's out there now for the Mavericks. Dwight Powell's checked in for Carly Stein. Hardaway comes in for Kid Gilchrist. And it's right in for Jalen Brunson. That one misses. No doubt uh, passing is a premium for this team game of the NBA. We love the individual star power, but it is a team game. Are there any playmakers out there that don't get doors, you think, enough credit for all that they do for their team? Well, the first guy that comes to mind is a man that Steve Kerr described as probably the smartest single basketball player he has ever been around, and that's Andre Iguodala. The numbers mm. in terms of his scoring, obviously not eye-popping, but his incredible defense and then his elite passing skills have been so critical to so many championship teams. Mavericks trail by four. Here's Doncic, the layup off target. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through, see if you can get an easy opportunity. Durant, wide open, he fires. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Boy, a forgettable night for him, but thankfully his teammates have played well overall. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. We are talking about a clever scorer. Luka Doncic has developed such a knack for getting to the free throw line. And as Dirk Nowitzki walks off into the sunset, the Mavericks seem to have found their next European superstar in Luka Doncic. The number three pick in last year's draft had a Super rookie two. season for the ages. That one is off. And Doncic, the EuroLeague MVP, led Real Madrid to a title. EuroLeague Finals MVP, all at the tender age of 19. Incredibly accomplished. Despite that, slipped a little bit in the draft into the waiting arms of the Mavs, who moved up two spots to get him. And he sinks the second. Nets leading by three. Harris with it. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Pass to Dinwiddie.
Drops in the layup for two. And the Nets lead by five. Well, Spencer Dinwiddie does such a good job of understanding what the defense is going to give him. How about that pick and roll play? That's nice. Now here's Wright. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Doncic. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And Brooklyn called for the foul. Dallas shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. First free throw is good. All free throws good from Doncic. You have to remember, the Nets surrendered their draft pick every year for five straight years between the years 2014 to 2018. How they turned that into a playoff run last year, one of the great stories in the league. Mavericks trailed by three to the inside. Here's Powell. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got three assists in the game. And it's Harris with the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. And Doris, you're right. Those picks you're referring to surrendered by the Nets in their 2013 trade with the Celtics. And think about it, Kev. That transaction was one in a string of trades by the Nets trading their picks for veterans. This 2019 draft, only the second time the Nets controlled their pick in the last nine years. What they have achieved in the face of that is nothing short of remarkable. Here's Wright. Spencer Dinwiddie picking up that last basket. And here we go. Brooklyn fast break. Harris dishes to Dinwiddie. Three-pointer. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. They want to keep rolling here following the win against the Thunder. And bottom line, they found ways to score. Credit the game plan going in. It was right on the money. And that's not an easy environment to play in. To score at the rate they did on the road says a lot about their intensity and focus. Now here's Allen. Tim Hardaway unable to get his last shot to go. Doncic with the steal. That one misses. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. But they'll get another chance. And here's Prince outside. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Boy, phenomenal decision making from the young guard. Spencer Dinwiddie, nicely done, putting it on time and on target. Now here's Wright. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the first quarter. Here's Dinwiddie. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Six points for Spencer Dinwiddie. All right, defensively now, you've got to find a way to slow this guy down because he's putting it to you. Right, the pass to Kleba. Shot to stop the run. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up got to fight over it as a defender and greg you know exactly what that takes it takes energy it takes activity it takes intensity
Now, Dinwiddie. He picked up 12 points in their last win against the Timberwolves in Minneapolis. It's rebounded by Doncic. Doncic has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And Wright kicks to Hardaway. The kick out to Wright over Harris. And it's Wright missing. Brooklyn leading by five. Here's Prince. And it's Allen slamming it down. Well, so often we're talking about Jared Allen's length, and he does it nicely on the offensive glass right there. Doncic. And it's sent back by Allen. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Allen. Jackson, he's checked in for Dallas. Thirty-six seconds left here in the opening quarter. He dishes it to right. Back to Jackson. Puts up a three. It's hauled in by Claxton. And here's Brooklyn. They lead by seven. And this matchup with the Mavericks, it's the first meeting of the season. And going back a season ago, it was a win for both sides in their two meetings. You know, despite the disparity in talent, these two teams played each other tough last year. Let's see how competitive they are this time around. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They've dictated the pace, pushed the ball at every chance, and it's paying off for them. And we'll be back with you shortly. And this team has shown their toughness and determination. And Kyrie Irving talks about what he sees in his teammates. What's going to separate us is how close we are. And when we're in the trenches together, I'm looking to my left and to my right and knowing that these guys have my back. Mm -hmm. they, they certainly do. This team has assembled some hard-nosed, unselfish players. No better group for Irving to surround himself with. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And looking at what we've seen so far from the Nets, what do you guys think? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. I love the determination. They want to go after every rebound out there and overwhelming to the opposition right now. On the court right now, second quarter starting for the Nets. On the perimeter, Harris and Prince. Then there's Spencer Dinwiddie. Then there's Allen, and it's Claxton in at the four-man position. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Well, Kevin, Kenny Atkinson, who's a native of Long Island, now has his dream job, coaching the Brooklyn Nets. He doesn't need praise or recognition. Instead, he's fueled by the fear of failure. He says, I always feel like I'm one banana peel away from never being in the NBA again. And Kevin, he's got his team playing with that same determination. David, he sure does. Thank you very much. And the Nets with possession here. Following the score by Dallas. Knocked away. Here's Dinwiddie. That doesn't go either for Dinwiddie. Mavericks trail by nine. Hardaway passes to Powell. Not going to go that time. The Nets go the other way with it. Here's Claxton. Off target from outside. And it's right with the ball for the Dallas Mavericks. Pass to Kleba. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Kleba's got five now. Well, think about the Nets' Kenny Atkinson, a finalist last season for NBA Coach of the Year. This young coach got a well-deserved contract extension. And what I love is his team competes at a high level every night. Harris passes to Claxton. Five to shoot. Over right. Claxton, no good. 
Mavericks have gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. The pass to Kleba. To the middle. And the dunk by Powell. If Powell's on the court, he's a threat to dunk it. Incredible athleticism. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. And Doris, you think about how hard this Brooklyn team competes. I think they take right after their head coach. No, I don't think there's any doubt, Kevin. Coach Atkinson is still willing to get on the court and jump into drills with his players. Let's remember, going back to the early days of his career, he was a player development coach. And before that, yes, he even played. That effort and willingness to break a sweat very much reflected in his group. Quick job of getting up the floor and creating early offense. You don't give the defense any chance to set up. Sometimes you just love an easy look. Now here is Hardaway. No points in the game yet for him. Right, the pass to Kleba. He gets that one. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Prince outside. Out to Harris. Shot clock at six. The Nets need to get a shot off here. Here's Prince. No good. Some solid defense there from Jackson. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It's on Jared Allen. The 15th pick back in 2017, Justin Jackson Doris, won a championship, as you know, at North Carolina. Yeah, Kevin, he spent his first season and a half in Sacramento. Now he gets a new opportunity. Sometimes it's that next stop where young players really find success. Shoot two. That free throw missing. Well, you think the ownership style of the Mavericks, something the league had to adjust to. Very active, very outspoken. Sometimes I think that rubbed people the wrong way. But now you get the sense it's almost the new normal. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Willie Cauley-Stein, he's checked in for Powell. Porzingis comes in for Maxi Kleba. And it's Jalen Brunson in for right. Good on the second free throw. And the Mavericks, we know, have been trendsetters investing in development and in technology. Kevin, they have always been on the cutting edge of data collection and then using that data to give them a competitive advantage. When you're in a business, it's always about what's next. How can I be better? Now here's Jackson. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. Here's Brunson. And he banks in the layup. Brunson's got his first points of the night. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Now, here is Irving. KD on the wing. It's Levert on the wing. Looking to get back on track here. The shot comes out. The Mavericks trailer. Guys, we've seen some excellent offensive outputs. Yeah, great momentum for them offensively. Well, you want some unselfishness from a guy who's capable of scoring. And Tim Hardaway says, you know what? My teammate's open. I'm going to get him the ball. Now, here is Irving. Brunson covering. Irving passes to Durant. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Six points for Kevin Durant. This guy can do so much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets called time and time again. Outside Hardaway. Pass to Carly Stump. To the right side. Here's Brunson. Drains it from beyond the arc. Brunson's got the game tied up here for the man. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. 
Brooklyn's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter, only hitting one of five attempts. Pass to KD. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. KD's got his third bucket of the night. How about Kevin Durant on the dribble drive? What to do with this guy? He's got so many ways he can hurt you. Runs in the pass to Cauley Stein. There's Jackson with the three. DeAndre Jordan grabs the miss. Jordan's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Irving's shot is good. You simply cannot give Kyrie Irving room to... Guy is a phenomenal transition player. Left side, Hardaway. Passes it to Persingas. Over Allen. It's hauled in by Kevin Durant. Nets leading by five. Here's Levert. He scores for only his third time tonight. Now three for ten, taking a climb out of the hole. And there's a deceptive strength to the lean frame of Karis Levert, showing tremendous strength on his way to a tough finish. Now here's Carly Stein. 14 points from him the last game against Oklahoma City. Yeah, but he was also a force on the defensive side. Two block shots and also altered a ton of shots. Two on the clock. Jackson dishes to Carly Stein. Jackson misses. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for the Brooklyn Nets. They've led by as many as 11 points. And there's the pass to Jordan. And here is KD. Dishes it to Allen. From deep. And it's Levert missing. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. Here's Persingas. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. That was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. Nets leading by five. Irving looking over the floor. Pass to Durant. From downtown, they grab their own miss. Up again, controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Nets lead by seven. What about the intensity? Go ahead, Mr. Jordan. We see you working out there. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. Doris, you've accomplished so much in your award-winning career. What was your first experience in broadcasting? Kevin, my first experience was I left coaching, and they put Providence College women's basketball on radio. That was the first ever game I got to call. It was so cool. Uh, tell me yours. What was the very first? Did you study this? How did you get into broadcasting? I did. Our high school had a radio station, and the first basketball broadcast was underneath the bleachers, looking through popcorn boxes and legs of the people uh, that were standing in the bleachers so that I could see the court from the baseline. Amazing. Because that's where the, ri that's where the telephone cables were to plug in our equipment. And wow. I was uh, 16 years old. Incredible. Remember very well. Incredible. Very well. <laughs> Kid Gilchrist, he's checked in for Dallas. Luka Doncic comes in for Hardaway. Doncic kicks to Cauley Stein. Up and in, off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. And their shots are falling now with more regularity than we saw at first. Here's Irving, and he makes that one. Irving's got five points in the quarter. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Pass to Doncic. Passes to Persingas. Shoots over Levert. That one's good, and the Brooklyn lead is cut down to five on the bucket from Chris Depps, Porzingis. Here's Irving, and he gets the bucket. Irving's got nine. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And here's Brunson. Five points in the game. Inside, Cauley Stein. A shot missing. Great D that time from Jordan. And battling hard on the glass, they hold the advantage 
here so far. A nice shot by Levert. Boy, this is the next step for Karis Levert. Critical. He become more consistent from deep. Here's Brunson. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Here's Doncic. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. He's got nine. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Now, here's Levert. He picked up 12 points in their last win against the Timberwolves in Minneapolis. Well, you also have to credit the way he controlled the pace of the game and was able to create for his teammates. Doncic, no good. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. It's going to go on Willie Cauley-Stein. This guy doesn't mind absorbing contact at all if it means a trip to the free throw line. Karis Levert will find his points any way you want. No good on that one. And, and you look at the cast offs that have found success in Brooklyn Doors, a great part of the net story. And I think what the players appreciate is the team that gave them their first real shot to play significant minutes. That buy-in and urge to prove themselves a part of what makes their culture special. No good at the stripe this time. The second miss is also. Well, it's six foot seven doors. Karis Levert describing himself as a point slash shooting guard. Well, why not? Because his slashing ability, his blinding speed off the dribble is really what makes him problematic. His burst is special, and it doesn't matter if he's going left or right. Four on the shot clock. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. What a college career for Jalen Brunson. Two championships and a wooden award. This is one of the most decorated players in college basketball history. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And Brunson, the college player of the year back in 2018, but fell to the second round. Doris, when you look at that time, why did he fall? I think it had everything to do with the fact that he's not an elite athlete by NBA standards. But we know unequivocally, Jalen Brunson is a winner. His father played a decade in the NBA. This young man has been around the game since his formative years, and you can see it in his game. Both good from the line that time. And so it's Brooklyn with it. 106 left to play here in the half. Harris outside. Here's the three. Here's Jordan. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Well, you know what DeAndre Jordan is going to bring to the table every night. Great effort, incredible presence on the backboards, a ton of length defensively. Love everything he does for you. Brooklyn shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. And typically, a strength of their 79% on the season. He misses the free throw. DeLon Wright, he's checked in for Jalen Brunson. And he's good on the second. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. 
There's 49 seconds left in the first half. That is good. And the Nets' lead is cut down to just four points in the bucket from Doncic. Boy, Luka Doncic excels in the two-man game. You handle the rock with perfection. Nicely done, young sir. They can trade two for one here. Would be the right move, I believe, right now. Now the pass to Irving. Over right. Chandler. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Persingas has got his sixth rebound on the night. Kleba, the pass to right. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. The Mavericks have made seven free throws and missed three in this game. Shooting two. First one falls for him. And the Nets making a change here. And he makes both free throws. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for the Nets. Let's it go from deep. He can't hit that time. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. It's the Nets up by two. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Kyrie, they got themselves going in the second quarter. How do you get control of the game back? It starts with not getting the ball out of the net. You know, we, we got to get stopped, and uh, it starts in that end. That, that's where it's really going to start for us. And uh, we just got to continue to compete. That's all. Kyrie, thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. It's Brooklyn out in front at the half. They have a two-point lead. Kenny, what did you see from them? Well, I like their effort on the boards. Because the game could come down to just a few key possessions. And extra rebounds can give you those extra possessions if you work at it. And looking at Dallas, Shaq, your thoughts? They were really efficient. Great approach offensively. Their shot selection was first rate. They were always working hard to get good looks. That can't change in the second half. They need to be just as well organized as they have been so far. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. You have to like what you're seeing from Luka Doncic. You know, something that isn't his strength, but he's done a great job of finding the open man. Well, what he did was sustain it throughout the first half. He ran the offense to absolute perfection. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Chris Stapps Porzingis is out there with Willie Cauley-Stein. Then there's Michael Kidd-Gilchrist. Then there's Doncic. And it's Brunson in at the point guard position. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Well, this, of course, is one of Kevin Durant's strengths. Such an accomplished shooter, scorer from any spot on the floor. Pass to Cauley Stein. Here's Kid Gilchrist. Thompson with it. Lock at six. 
Dallas needs to get off a shot. A three-pointer, no good. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Lavert with it. He's picked up by Doncic. Passes it to Irving. That's good. And it's Lavert with the assist. Lavert's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Mavericks trail by seven. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question, Greg. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Now here's Irving. 11 points in the game. Shoots over Brunson. Cans the 12-footer. And that's 13 points for Kyrie Irving. That makes three in a row to start the second half. Doncic against LeVert. And stolen by Jordan. And here we go. Brooklyn fast break. Irving's got the ball. You better come stronger than that. Holly Stein, a presence defensively. Durant down low. He's covered by Kid Gilchrist. Out to Chandler. Six to shoot. From deep three-point range. And that stifling defense of Carly Stein is what got him drafted six back in 2015. And Chandler sends it back. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Jordan, the pass to Durant. It's tipped. Trying to get something going. And there's the nice layup by Cauley Stein. Cauley Stein's got his third basket of the night. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. We know this about the Dallas Mavericks. They will put every piece of data and information to use in terms of trying to get an advantage. Think about it, guys. They are now doing blood tests, trying to head off injury for their players. They believe this gives them a clearer picture into the overall health of their athletes. Here's Jordan after the basket by Willie Cauley-Stein. Jordan kicks to Irving. Back to Jordan. Levert from outside. Porzingis with the block. You know, when you drive the lane, you have to know where Porzingis is because with his reach, he can sneak up and send that shot away anytime. And stolen by Jordan. Levert the pass to Irving. Right block shot. And the rejection by Pauly Stein. Here's Doncic. Finds himself wide open and drills it. And now just a five-point Nets lead. And Doris, those blood tests you were talking about, always subject to player permission. They want to honor player privacy. I think you have to, Kevin. And most of the Mavs have embraced it. These tests have the ability to measure almost 50 biomarkers. As an athlete, you're always trying to stay in peak form. As an organization, you're always trying to manage appropriately their workloads. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Brunson kicks to Doncic. Back to Brunson. From deep. Offensive rebound. It's good on the putback. And with his vertical reach, you expect Carly Stein to be a factor on the offensive glass. Pass to Durant. Let's it go from 14. And he drops that one in. KD's got seven now in this quarter. Listen, he hits that shot on a regular basis. Give credit to the offense for getting him a clean look. To the paint. 
Porzingis inside. KD's on him. Poked loose. Over in the quarter, Porzingis. No good on the three. Nets leading by seven. It's rebounded by Brunson. Anjic passes to Persingas. That doesn't go either for Persingas. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Brunson kicks to Persingas. Down low. Moving against Coley Stein. A floater. Out to Chandler. Beyond the arc. It's rebounded by Doncic. Doncic has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And it goes down two points. Brunson's got nine points. Listen, we all know Luka Doncic can score, but equally impressive to me is his playmaking ability. Now Irving, 13 points in the game. And the first timeout called of the game for Brooklyn. First, you can't help but notice the teams are shooting earlier in the shot clock. One theory being the faster you shoot, the more possessions you get. Well, and the numbers would, would speak to that. No, no doubt, Kevin. And the reality is, for, for announcers and for fans, that breakneck pace makes it more exciting for us. One NBA mm -hmm. coach told me this past year that your field goal percentage in the first 10 seconds of the shot clock gives you your best opportunity to make it. And the longer that shot clock goes on, the more your field goal percentage dips. So, hey, good for us, good for the fans, good for the teams. And that's because the defense has a chance to set it, correct? It's exactly right. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Powell, he's jacked in for Przingis. Justin Jackson comes in for Michael Kidd-Gilchrist. Hardaway is subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Kyrie Irving doing work with the pass. That's pretty. Mavericks trail by seven. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Powell, the pass to Hardaway. Offline with his three. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for Brooklyn. They've led by as many as 11 points. And the foul called on Jared Allen. And that'll be his third foul so far. The Nets making a switch here. Unable to get the ball in bounds. They get called for the five-second violation. It's really been a tale of two halves, hasn't it, guys? Uh, as far as taking care of the basketball, immaculate at halftime, but he's had too many miscues here in the second half. Joe Harris has checked in for Irving. Now here's Dinwiddie. Ten points for him. Great D that time from Hardaway. Prince against Jackson. Over Prince. And that one hits back iron. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Harris against Doncic. Harris passes to Allen. Fades back. He gets it in there. Boy, it's a huge boost when Jared Allen is making mid-range shots. That's going to make him even more dangerous. Now, here's Doncic. He's got 13. Powell, the pass to Hardaway. Outside Jackson. Lock at six. Feeds it to Powell. And the dunk by Powell. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Right. You can see on that possession, one side playing with a little desperation, the other side losing focus. Here's Dinwiddie. The Mavericks making the shot. Allen surveying the D. Kicks to Harris. From deep. Powell pulls it in. Powell's got four rebounds now tonight. And Doncic, here we go. Hardaway with a wide open look. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got his seventh assist of the game with that last one.
Nets leading by four. Prince outside. Dinwiddie outside. The pass to Claxton. Shot clock at five. From deep. The Mavericks pull it in. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. Hard away against Dinwiddie. Here's Cauley Stein. The shot off that time. And Brooklyn will now go the other way with it. And now here's Prince, the fast break opportunity. Claxton with the bucket. You want easy looks? Don't allow the defense to set up. What a beautiful fast break opportunity and the finish pretty good. And the Mavericks call time here. Boy, picking Jared Allen, number 22, back in 2017 has paid off for the Nets. This guy has proven already in his early 20s to be an NBA caliber starting center. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Dallas. DeLon Wright comes in for Justin Jackson. Out left of the wing. Right inside. Dinwiddie covering. It's hauled in by Claxton. And Jared Allen grew up in the Austin area and played near his home at the University of Texas. Yeah, Kev, just one season with the Longhorns. He really came into the league considered a project. But boy, his development is truly ahead of schedule. Durant's checked in for the Nets. Right, looking around. The rebound by the Nets. Durant's got his fourth rebound in this one. I'll tell you, it feels all night like this guy's been forcing shots, rushing shots. He's really struggling on the offensive end. Dinwiddie passes to Durant. Shot clock at six, and he comes up with the deuce. And now an eight-point Nets lead. Oh, do opposing defenses just start shaking their head when Kevin Durant starts cooking because he can heat up in a hurry. Here's Doncic. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. The Nets had to be so judicious and so smart with every move they made because they did not have top draft selections. So you have to use cap space to acquire picks. They had to find sleepers in the draft. They had to find players who were probably undervalued and then develop those players. This is an organization that used every tool at their disposal. That free throw good from Doncic. And Doris, the Nets showed they could manufacture a rebuild. Kevin, what the Nets did was not easy. But to me, it shows you exactly how critical quality front office personnel is to the success of an organization and the Nets were on point throughout the process. All three throws good from Doncic. Nets leading by six. The feed now to Prince. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. And that's now seven points for Prince. Loving the energy right now here in the third quarter as they try to take control of this game. You know, possessions like that will help them feel good going into that final quarter. Now here's Wright. He gives the team some steady offense, a bit under 10 points a game. Dallas, no good that time either. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Harris, no good. Dallas has gotten one of six three-pointers to drop since coming out of the locker room at halftime. Anjic passes to Powell, and the dunk by Powell. And they're just doomed if they keep letting them post up like that. You've got to deny the position to afford them no opportunity at making that entry pass into the post. And Brooklyn has possession. The Mavericks making the shot. From 10 feet out, Mavericks with the rebound. Kleba's got four rebounds now tonight. Right, the pass to Doncic. He kicks to Powell. Pass to Wright. Outside Hardaway. 
It's rebounded by Durant. Durant's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Prince. Offensive rebound. Shoots over Doncic. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on Luka Doncic. Boy, KD's so good with that up fake. He knows once he's got his man in the air, all he's got to do is jump into him and create the foul shots. The free throw drops for Durant. I think Kevin Durant, it's obvious how much passion and pride he takes in playing the game at the highest level. It is such an honor watching this guy work. Kid Gilchrist, he's checked in for Hardaway. Passes to Kleba. Kicks it to right. Allen against Powell. Here's Kid Gilchrist. Prince with the defensive effort. And so it's Kevin Durant making headlines and highlights for Brooklyn. His work on the glass was outstanding in that quarter. Great rebounding. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? We call that Greg putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. And with three quarters behind us, Let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Mavericks trail by eight, setting the four for the Nets. Durant plays the four with Allen at center. Spencer Dinwiddie out there with Harris, and it's Chandler in at the three set. And the shot goes in from Chris Depp's Porzingis. Yeah, that jumper is pure Porzingis. Nice follow through, nice touch. This guy is very fundamentally sound. Dinwiddie, and it's Allen with the jam. Outstanding pass on time and on target. Dallas shooting about 42% so far. To the middle, here's Kid Gilchrist. And Kid Gilchrist throws it down. And really just led him to his sweet spot for that finish. Here is Harris. That's going to be over and back, not watching for the line that time. He's really taking care of the ball. That's just his first turnover of the night. So for the Nets, DeAndre Jordan comes in for Jared Allen. And Karis LeVert subbed in for Harris. Defense! 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 Doncic against LeVert. A three. And it's Durant with the rebound. Durant's got eight rebounds in this game. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Okay, Kevin Durant scanning the floor, looking for opportunities. Make your teammates feel good. Nice. Now here's Wright. Kleba kicks to Doncic. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Greg, you get so caught up in how great Durant is at scoring that you forget sometimes about his other terrific offensive skills. You know, Katie doesn't really get a lot of recognition for his passing, but he has fantastic vision. Uh, I mean, arguably, he might be the most underrated superstar ever. Sees so many double teams and does a great job of getting the ball out to open teammates. First free throw is good. Dallas making a switch here. Brunson's checked in. Irving's checked in for the Nets. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. KD against Porzingis. Durant, Chandler outside. Just five on the clock. 
There's the triple. But they recover it. Yeah, just nice hustle there. That work gets them the extra possession. And here's KD for three. Here's Irving. No luck. They battled on the glass but couldn't knock it down. An average trail by six. Here's Brunson. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And the upcoming schedule for the Mavericks. On Saturday, they'll host the Charlotte Hornets. Then on Monday, they'll defend home court against the Chicago Bulls. And the first one drops. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for the Brooklyn Nets. They've led by as many as 11 points. It's good, only a few seconds into the shot clock. The evolution of Kyrie Irving's game continues. Magnificent with the jumper. Anjic passes to Kleba. Dallas moving it around. Here's Persingis. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. On the wing, Chandler. It's rebounded by Dallas. I'll tell you, despite his struggles at the offensive end, this team still finds themselves in control of the ball game. Here's Persingis. Good D by Jordan. Nets leading by six. Here's Levert. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Now, here's Doncic. Pass to Brunson. Back to Doncic. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Doncic has got four points now in the quarter. Just another way. Luka Doncic is such a tough cover. This guy's knack for getting into the painted area and converting both easy shots and contested shots. Timeout called the Nets. And with their offense sputtering, coaches got to get them back on track. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. Cauley Stein, he's checked in for Dallas. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Kenny Atkinson had some words for his team during the break. His key message was, don't get comfortable. Those guys are going to come at us with everything they've got. Let's bring the intensity and stay focused on every possession. Kevin, back to you. Now for Zingas, after the miss, three from KD. For Zingas, can't hit. And, and, and really credit their advantage on the backboard. That's where the lead has been built, and that's why they are in control. This is a good scorer who's got size and athleticism. Karis LeVert is not going to struggle to throw it down. Doncic, a beautiful reverse layup. Doncic has got 21. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Here's Irving. The dish to KD. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to go on Willie Cauley-Stein. Well, Kevin Durant is used to absorbing contact on the way up, and when he's this deep, it really puts the defense in a bind. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And 
and KD drops them both. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Mavericks trail by eight. And there's the call on Durant. That'll be his second foul of the game. Stolen by Levert. And anytime you go cross court, there's some risk involved. Not at all surprised that one was stolen. For Dallas, they've gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. And Doncic, here we go. And it's in there. Doncic has got 12 points in just the second half. And you can just see he's a different player since coming back from halftime. Nets leading by six. There's the pass to Levert. On the wing, Irving. Brunson covering. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Well, this guy, Kyrie Irving, just so reminiscent of his idol, Kobe Bryant. He is one of the cold-blooded scorers in the game. An absolute torture for a defender to guard. Shooting two. The first one falls. And you know, Doris, for both Kyrie and Kobe, each had an urge to step out on his own, you know, to, to put their fingerprints on a team. No doubt, Kevin. For Kobe, it was Shaq. For Kyrie, it was LeBron. And think about last season. Kyrie actually called LeBron to apologize. But let's not kid ourselves, right? He is most comfortable in the starring role. Boy, you talk about the all-time great below-the-rim finishers. Kyrie Irving is on that list. He can use either hand. So much English. This guy is tough. Now, here's Doncic. Six on the shot clock. He's feeling it. A rebound by the Nets. KD's got nine rebounds now tonight. In Doris, as great a scorer as he is, Kyrie Irving doesn't draw a ton of fouls. Kevin, I think that has everything to do with his elusivity. This is a young man who can finish with either hand, can get separation on any defender. This is the one thing you'd say about Kyrie Irving. He does not initiate contact around the rim. Here's Levert. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Nets lead by 10. Boy, that's just about strength right there. Karis Lefert just simply refuses to be denied. Brunson scanning the floor. And Cauley Stein has it in the corner. DeAndre Jordan grabs the miss. He's got to be disappointed with himself on that one. He has got to knock those down. Pass to Doncic. Stolen by Lefert. And now it's Chandler running. He can go all the way. They get a hand on it, and Brooklyn with another turnover here. Mavericks trail by 10. Donchich outside. Passes it to Kid Gilchrist. Back to Donchich. And he drops it in from the low post. Doncic has got 10 points now just in this quarter. Well, individually, he is doing everything he can in this 12-minute session, but he's just not getting enough help. Here's Levert. With the floater and the rejection by Coley Stein. Makes it off the glass. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Of 
And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for Brooklyn. They've led by as many as 11 points. Durant, Porzingis with the block. The Mavericks have gone 7 of 13 from the field here in the fourth. And stolen by Jordan. Now here's Irving. Defense right on him. And slam dunk by Jordan. Well, we've seen this one or two times, have we not? DeAndre Jordan finishing end of the alley-oop. Nice. Here's Brunson. Pass to Doncic. Nabbing another steal. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. Durant finds Irving. That's good, and it's KD with the assist. And it's a 10-point Nets lead. Boy, terrific read. Kyrie Irving understands what the defense is giving him and takes advantage. Here's Brunson. And that's collected by DeAndre Jordan. Brooklyn's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Good work there as it goes. And really a good job spotting his teammate near the bucket and then just pinpoint passing for the finish. Now here's Brunson. He's covered by Irving. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will retain possession. Active hands from him as he's able to deflect that pass out of bounds. Well, that's what you call a game of inches. They talk about it in football. We see it right there. And the Mavericks making a change here. Hardaway's checked in. Allen's checked in for Brooklyn. But Kevin Durant uses his length so well. And how about the timing to send that rejection back? Works that one inside nicely. Irving with it. the pass to Levert. Floats one. Here's Allen. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. Uh, Greg, you have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. A great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to wheel his team back in the game. Nets leading by 10. Outside Irving. Outside Durant. Three-pointer. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assisting. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. Chandler, the pass to KD. Here's Allen. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. You like Allen to keep his concentration. Refuses to let the defense outmuscle or outwork him. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Well, think back to before he moves on to the Dallas Mavericks. While Tim Hardaway Jr. was with the Knicks, he was carrying such a burden offensively because Porzingis was still recovering. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And we've seen Hardaway be a much more efficient player than in the past. What we know, Kevin, unequivocally, is that this young man can score the basketball. But what you hope is the best players in the NBA are all about efficiency. That's what you want Hardaway Jr. thinking about. How can I be the most efficient guy on the floor? And he recovers it. Here's Durant. And finally they hit one. KD's got 18 points now here in the second half. Well, Kevin Durant's form, his release point, everything about his stroke is really impeccable. And here's Przingis for a three. Rebounded by the Nets. Wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. Pass to KD. Wound up there for Allen. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Doncic. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win 
for Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And as we watch the game wind down, you have to look back at all the second chance points these guys generated. Yeah, they clearly won the second chance points category. Possession after possession, we watch them go after the ball and make misses turn into makes. And I think a great job in positioning themselves for the W here. It's win number 21 on the season. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And, and look at the stats. Just confirms what a dominant Super game two. he had. What a night tonight it was for Jordan. I think his steals tell the story. This guy was a disruptive force. And I don't think you can underestimate how important it is for a team to have someone in that role. Helps teams if they can keep the rights to their best player. We see it in other leagues. Could the franchise tech ever make its way, do you think, to the NBA? Well, this is going to be a negotiation point between the Players Association and the league itself. And the reality is it's going to have to be negotiated. What we know unequivocally, Kevin, is that these players now in the player empowerment era have more control about what franchise they play for and how long the duration of their contract is. How this all shakes out remains to be seen, but it is a point of conversation amongst the 30 NBA teams and the league leadership. There's no question about it. Now, here is Irving following the miss by Porzingis. Outside Irving. Allen shot is off. Since taking over the starting role in 2018, Willie Cauley-Stein has lived up to his draft spot of being number six, Greg, overall in 2015. And, and you knew that a big man like Cauley-Stein would take a few years to develop, but at a legit seven feet and, and great length, he is everything you could hope for in a starting center. And that one falls for Cauley Stein. And what I like about Cauley Stein is just how hard he plays. Really both ends, a scrappy player. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Powell, he's checked in for Przingis. Dorian Finney-Smith comes in for Tim Hardaway Jr. Courtney Lee, he's checked in for Doncic. And it's Seth Curry in for Jalen Brunson. Cauley Stein hits them both. Brooklyn's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Here's Musa, covered by Lee. Passes it to Irving. Count it. Spirited performance. You love to get this kind of win, especially on the road. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. Here's Lee following the basket by Kyrie Irving. Here's Cauley Stein. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Now, here is Irving. Here's Claxton, shot clock at six, launches it, and the Nets, another three. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Well, just terrific teamwork, GA. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. And so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. Yeah, I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. DeAndre, what do you think this team's identity is this season? Um, you know, we just have so many guys that can score. It's going to be somebody's night every night, like I keep saying. But um, we're also, uh, our half-court offense is getting a lot better. The ball is moving around, DeAndre. Thanks for your time. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching.
We'll see you next time.